My name's Sam, and uh, we are jumping back in here into some Veronaville. We're going to pick up where we left off on Consort and Dora's vacation. <laughs> uh, I was letting their night go through. I was letting I, They slept, and uh, they woke up and have been messing around on the beach. It's 4 a.m. Uh, I decided to go ahead and start now because Consort has begun arguing with a local. Uh, actually, I think he's probably another tourist. Maybe not a local. This guy named Goopy. I also saw Consort smash this castle so i don't know if he's uh smashing people's castles and now has upset this guy that's where we're at currently <laughs> they seem to yeah they seem to not be getting along i'd like to co have consort go and eat dora just went to go sit down and eat he's a very argumentative little boy consort is they just seem to keep oh my gosh they just really oh and there he goes i think this guy was building this and now consort's ruining it consort's just like a menace why are you such a menace consort stop stop don't help him now can we join dora's eating at the restaurant in her little nighty outfit which is kind of fun i guess he's gonna be seated separately it's kind of goofy what do you order good thing is people I, I don't know i have this custom oh my god there's three of them in the same outfit this is a custom outfit that i downloaded a little while ago it's very nice but it seems to be very popular with the Local? Not the local. I keep saying locals with the tourists. And it just does not quite seem like the uh, ideal Tweaky Island fit. <laughs> I don't know. I like how this guy's kind of got his little backup dancers, though. That's kind of fun. Uh, anyway. Oh, cons okay. Now Consort's in here in his bare feet and with his nip nops out. He just finished fighting some guy on the beach. He's going to have himself some breakfast. Uh, so we got to decide what we want to do with these guys. We got all kinds of adventures. What do they really want? He wants to go find beach treasure, take a hike, bird watch. He still wants to go on a tour. I thought, I think first we'll have them visit a lot. We'll go find a community lot to visit. Maybe we can have her go uh, find beach treasures at a community lot that's a beach. Maybe that would be fun. Okay, so these guys have just finished eating and everything. I think these guys seem to uh, prefer just sitting and watching television. I think we are actually going to have them walk to a lot, maybe. Or I don't know if maybe they should call like a taxi. How do I do that? I feel like they're not going to walk. They'd rather. Here we go. Call taxi. OK, let's see where we can go. The ancient ruins of Numchuck. <laughs> that sounds fun. Doesn't look like it's a beach, though. That's a hotel of fruit. Fruitville Village? That's a little redundant, isn't it? Majestic Ruins of Jumbok. Um, let's see. Oh, we got the Tweaky Beach Boardwalk. Maybe we'll go... Let's go to the boardwalk. Ms. Dora can, uh, can comb for, for beach treasure. See if she finds anything. Maybe she'll find a, a map. That'd be kind of neat. All right. We, we have arrived. This lot is um, it's very interesting. <laughs> we've got a lot of just big open deck space, which is kind of fun. That's kind of, we've got some bathrooms. Okay. We've got, we've got some food. Looks like we can purchase some things. It's kind of interesting. They have, okay, oh, they've got little, little, little covers on things, but there's like a stand over here, but the cashier is way over here. So I, I, that's kind of interesting. <laughs> just kind of observing Observing the things. We got some jewelry. Maybe she does want to buy a souvenir. Maybe I'll have her go do that before she goes combing so that we'll we'll be able to have both wants. Let's see. I'll have her buy a souvenir real quick if one of these people will get out of the freaking way. This consort. Ooh, consort wants jewel consort's always buying jewelry. Consort's a jewelry man. Oh, consort's sun tanning? Oh no. Also, we've got okay, we've got a fire dancer. Interesting. This is a pretty basic little little beach zone here. I like the seaweed and the the like the little driftwood and everything. This is nice. Oh, we can buy a little little island. It's like a little palm tree, or we can buy a chest. I'm gonna buy this. Seventy five bucks. Man, that's kind of expensive for a little trinket. But all right. Oh no, we have the floor thing again. I don't know. I've just accepted the floor thing. I don't understand. It's whatever. I'll fix it one day. I forgot to try and fix it. Uh, learn local gesture. How do how do we do that exactly? Can I can I talk to this person? 
I don't really know how I learn the gesture specifically. I'm gonna have her try and look for, I guess, I guess comb for seashells is what we're, we want. Mr. Man here, he's gonna, oh, they got the damn things facing the wrong way. What am I gonna get you, buddy? What, what is consort? Maybe he wants another ring? I mean, I don't know what, I can get him a thumb ring. <laughs> this consort want a thumb ring? Sure. There's not really any like Tiki Island specific ones. I think it's all just, they all kind of just came with Bon Voyage anyway. Miss Dora is, is digging away here. Maybe should consort learn to dance? Oh, he wants a souvenir now. I don't know, we already bought a souvenir. Learn a local gesture. He wants to learn a new massage. I'm gonna lock that in, that could be fun. Okay, does she just kind of keep... No, she just falls through the floor. Keep combing. I'm just gonna... I guess I just gotta spam it. I just gotta click it everywhere. If she finds anything. Oh, did she find something? Oh, wait, I think she found something. What, is it gonna tell me? You have found some colored glass. You can display it in your home. Oh. Where is it? Ooh, it's like in a bowl. Wait, I've never even seen this object before. Oh my gosh, that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. All right, I'm gonna have her keep looking. I like the idea of her just digging away. Consort's using the bathroom. He also, uh oh, our arch nemesis goopy Kimbrell is here. Dun dun dun. Um, where did some of the locals go that I could possibly learn a greeting from? There was a bunch here. They seem to have left. And now there's just tourists. I feel like... Let's have, let's have Consort come watch a fire dance. Maybe he should learn it. I think that could be... Maybe, you know, the, the slap dance has spread across Veronaville, but maybe Consort needs to start a new craze. Needs to start the fire dance craze. <laughs> we found a starfish! You can display it in your home or garden? Interesting. Does that mean I can like it's big enough to put outside? Why did it say garden? That's interesting though. Look, Coral's gonna have. Oh my gosh, I keep calling her Coral. Dora's gonna have all kinds of cool stuff. I love this. I love the concept of just Dora like collecting all the things. I'm just gonna keep having her combing away. Could also do this on our own like um, rental lot. Okay. Are they gonna actually give Consort the fire stick? Are you gonna re are you are, is, is Consort going to receive the fire stick? Are you gonna actually try it? Oh boy. Okay, we're not setting it on fire yet. That's probably smart. Who is is somebody booing us? This child is booing us. Hello, Joe. Do you wanna try it yourself, Joe? He he just booed us. And like this this random teenager. Leave us alone, Joe. Look at all the folks gathering to watch us fail. This is Consort's worst nightmare. He's such a perfectionist. He doesn't want all these people watching him fail. He's he's pushing his boundaries, I guess. I don't know. He might Oh, he found a conch. Dora found a conch. This is a fun little adventure. I like the little islands. There's a lot going on here. Ooh, Dora just found a shell bracelet. I don't know if it shows up here. No, it doesn't. But we can actually have her wear it. That's cool. We'll have to have her put on her shell bracelet when she gets back to the hotel. Which it seems like today's... It's going to be getting dark soon. So I don't know if we're going to get to go see the ruins today. We might just do like one main little adventure each day. We'll see. I think that consort is actually going to fully learn how to fire dance. I think I, I've just let him kind of go to town. And I, I think he's his little bar is almost full. I don't know if that the, the if that's just one skill point towards it or if that's fully learning the dance. But meanwhile, you can see Miss Dora is uh, sunbathing at night, which is which is a fun choice. I don't think Dora maybe has a lot of experience with the beach. <laughs> maybe she doesn't quite understand the concept of sunbathing. Or maybe she's just enjoying like listening to the the ocean while she waits for Consort to finish doing whatever the hell he's doing over here. Oh. Wait, did we finish? Did he... Did he actually learn? Did I miss a pop-up or not? I think because there's no more learn option. I bet he did learn it. I didn't even see if he... Is he able to just do it at will? I don't see it as an option. Maybe there has to be music. Alright. 
It's 9 p.m. I think it's time for these guys to go home. Well, not home, but back to the hotel. What? It's a wait. I'm confused. Why does it say it says checkout time passed while you were away from the hotel? 883 has been added to your bill. What does that mean? It says we have oh. Oh, it just went forward a little bit, but it says we still have two days left in vacation. I don't know what that's about. Although it seems that the time has has synced up on the lot because it took us a little while to finally uh get home. Um, I wish they had like a little fridge in these hotel rooms. Can I buy them a little fridge? I have the mod that allows me to like use build buy on these types of lots. I'm going to just plop them a little fridge down just so they can have snacks instead of having to constantly go and sit down at the at the uh, you know at the restaurant. Like why do I have to go through all that every time my sims hungry? That's kind of silly. All right, we are now awake. Mr. Consort's awake. He's very rejuvenated here. So Consort wants to learn a new massage. I think that should be the motivation for our next journey out for the day. Um, I'll have to figure out exactly which lot would have a massage place. We'll see. It might have to be... I assume there's a couple community lots that have the option. Also, he's washing the, the bathtub in here. Like, what a clean freak. He's washing, washing the hotel bathroom. <laughs> I'm going to have Dora get up. I'm just going to bump up her energy a little. I'm going to have her go use the bathroom and take a shower. And then we're going to head off to a community lot. We're going to go find us a massage table. Okay. Here we are. I, I Oh, yes, we do have a mas massage table here. So I found this lot, which is a hot spring lot, which is pretty fun. So we got a cool, cool hot spring lot. Oh. Okay, interesting. I happen to have just noticed uh, Dora here is swooning at Goopy Kimbrel, Consort's arch nemesis, uh, beach castle maker. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say there. Anyway, Consort really wants to, uh, he's going to use the bathroom, I guess, but then he's going to, he wants to get a massage and learn a new massage. So how do we do that? Huh, so he can learn a hot stone massage and he can purchase other ones. Let's purchase a hot stone massage. Oh, actually, he um, he just lost his want to get a massage. So you know what? We're just going to learn one. I don't know exactly how that works. I, I, if I recall, it literally just looks like they're... Oh, no, it started raining. Not the, not raining on their beautiful beach parade here. Uh, what do we want? What are these? I don't even remember what they're called. Oh, no, this lady just got zapped in the hot tub. I'm going to actually have... Uh, Dora jump in the hot tub? Or not the hot tub, but the hot springs. It's like pretty much a hot tub in the game. <laughs> this lady, hopefully, actually probably was a bad idea to get in the hot springs, uh, but that's okay. We'll just go with it. She sat down next to a, to a handsome young man. Uh-oh, maybe Consort should be worried. Yeah, Consort's learning. <laughs> I want a picture of Consort getting his massage. Look at Consort with his fancy, all his rings. Apparently she's teaching him how to do it, though. Oh, look at that little this little rock icon as she's explaining. That's kind of cute. Oh, I just heard somebody else get zapped. This chick. Oh my gosh, this is a this is a death trap. This seems like a this seems like a really dangerous place. <laughs> now Dora's between two handsome young men. <laughs> Consort better get over here quick. She seems to be enjoying herself. I actually would like for her to try out the su oh. Who just got zapped? This guy. Okay. Oh, that was Goopy Kimbrel, the guy that she likes and Consort hates. Okay, we're going to have her get out of the hot tub before she does, uh, before she gets zappied. Congratulations, your sim has learned how to perform a new massage type. This massage can be given to other sims if you purchase a massage table for your home. Okay. So <laughs> Consort's learning all the things. He's taking this as like a, oh, he wants to use the sauna too. We'll have him go use it. So Consort's just like taking this as like an opportunity to learn how to do all the things in in the game. <laughs> He's this is a he he just cannot relax. He has to he has to be being he has this like toxic productivity mindset. He cannot just sit still. He's gotta he's gotta be grinding the whole time. Consort, please just sit down and have a, a nice sweat <laughs> with your with your new wife, please. Oof, this lot seems to be lagging a lot. I've had that problem before with these, uh, with these hot springs that sometimes it causes like an issue. I don't know if it's the other things on the lot. I think we are going to go ahead and go to a different lot. 
Oh my gosh, okay, we're finally off that lot. It took me like 10 minutes to get them off the lot because we're moving at like one frame per second. <laughs> we're going to the ancient ruins of Numchuk. <laughs> I don't know what to expect. Let's see what's here. What, what interesting things can we find? All right, ooh, look at this very fancy, very nice. There's some special unique things happen on this lot. I like to see it. But what does it like look like zoomed out here? Okay. Ooh, there's like a thing. We can make an offering to this fountain. Oh look, there's like a dinosaur bone back here. This is off the lot. That's like hood deco. That's still pretty cool. This is pretty neat. It's like a temple or something that they've completely uh, <laughs> bastardized into their own uses. <laughs> but we won't we'll, we'll talk about that. Uh, here, let's let's make an offering and definitely not get cursed for life. Okay. I don't know what happens after that. We did the thing. We made an offering. Okay, consort, you want to come make an offering, bud? Oh, he's eating something. I don't, I don't know. Didn't really do anything when we made an offering. He wants to buy another souvenir. I guess we could buy, like, the other option that there is. The only other option. <laughs> I mean, this is a cute lot. There's not a lot to go on here. Like, there's not a lot to do. I like the, the unique objects. That we're getting here we're gonna buy one of these little chests we're probably gonna go back to our own lot though uh she does want to go on a tour maybe tomorrow they can go on a tour that'll be i think tomorrow will be their last day here uh at tweaky island here he wants to go on a tour too so we're gonna try and make it work oh he's sitting at the thingy that's cool all right so she's bought her thing he's just kind of chilling you gonna do add sir Consort. <laughs> Consort, this is disrespectful. Consort, what are you doing? Consort, this is this is disrespectful. Consort. I think so. <gasps> Wait a minute. He has angered. He has angered the ancient spirits. <laughs> Consort. How could you? Consort's literally gonna die. <laughs> no, I don't think he's gonna die. Look at the anger. Oh my gosh, look at it go. Consort, you have angered this- Oh my gosh, it's lava. Everybody's scared. He's just gonna sit there. Look at it, it's just pouring lava and it's all Consort's fault. They're just gonna sit there now that the game's frozen. What's going on? <laughs> Uh-oh, is my game crashing? I'm sorry? I think I think the I think the ancient spirits have made my game crash. This is such an ominous view. All I can hear is the lava behind. There's nothing else happening. Oh my gosh. Uh, consort through it through an error. Reset. Uh, where's Consort? Oh my the, the ancient spirits took Consort. Where is he? Oh he's, he came from behind. <laughs> he came from back there. He just took the back door. <laughs> okay, I think it's time to leave. I think it's time to leave. Why is he running? Why are you screaming at these people for no reason, consort? This man's a menace to society. Why are you yelling at her? Uh, he's just, he just hit her nose. That's so rude. Consort, this, this is... Leave it to this little rich old white guy to, to be disrespecting these people. Okay. We have apparently another eight hundred dollars was. I think. I guess what this probably just means is that every day that we don't check out, we get charged for. Obviously, it's just like a weird time. I mean, a weird way to put it, but I. I think I understand what it means. It just means that like that's how much we're charged per day, which technically we can afford. It's a little expensive, but we can afford it. I'm gonna have Dora come comb for seashells again and find more stuff. I want to collect all the things. I'm just gonna spam it. We're just going to let them do their thing for the rest of the night. Hopefully we'll find some cool stuff and things. Okay, we're just about 6 a.m. here. We have woken up once again. These two were snacking out of their little mini fridge, getting themselves situated. They do want to go on a tour. I thought maybe we'll have them go on a tour once it's daylight. Um, is the tour person always out here? Doesn't look like... I don't know what time actually the tour person shows up. Usually it's a, just kind of an NPC that hangs out out front here. Um, so I guess we'll see about that. Ah, okay, it's 7 a.m. and here comes the tour guide. 
Very nice. Okay. So, book tour. So last time we did the boat and it did not go well for Ms. Coral. Parasailing or helicopter tour? I think they'd go on a little helicopter tour and I'd like for them both to actually go together. And if consort come walk out here. Last time there was a glitch that happened where they didn't end up going together. But I'd like them to. Consort, please calm down. Consort, I know you're really excited about the helicopters, but I need you to, to chill out, buddy. See the tropics from above as you take it in glorious vista after vista on this breathtaking helicopter tour. It will cost $200 per person. Do you want to go on this tour? Yes. We're going to take Mr. Consort with us. Are we going immediately? Oh, I hear the helicopter. Here he comes. Consort, get back out here. Your, your your sacred helicopter has arrived. Look at that fancy pantsy helicopter. That's a different recolor than the usual, like the one that you can buy. That's a unique little recolor. Consort is so excited to get out the helicopter. They're going on a tour. Hopefully they do not die. <laughs> you think, do you think they can die while on tour? That would not be fun. I hope that doesn't happen. All right, they're off. We'll see if we get a little pop-up like the other one. Oh, here we go. We got our pop-up. The helicopter zooms low over the tree treetops when the travelers discover that a bee has found its way inside. Did they open the window to shoo it out or spray it with some bug spray? That sounds like both bad options. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to open up the window or bug spray. Um, I'm going to do bug spray. I don't know. That's it. Both of those are bad. They manage to catch the bee with the bug spray, which immediately tranquilizes the bee and puts it to sleep. Later to wake up with quite a headache. Everybody gains a cleaning skill point. Oh, okay. <laughs> I suppose that was a good ending. That was not as chaotic as I was assuming it was going to be. I thought we were going to accidentally poison the, the, the helicopter pilot or something. All right, we have we have arrived well. Time flies while you're having fun. There is only one day left to your vacation. Yeah. So, I'd like to go visit the other ruins. Um, I think that's the next thing they'll do. Nice. So they both accomplished that. Oh, she wants to give him a kiss. Okay, we get it. The the helicopter here. <laughs> Should we take a picture with that with these two having a fit over the helicopter? All right. <laughs> these two old folks are having quite the adventure. What does she want? To maximize her cleaning skill. Oh wow, she's one 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 skill point away. Sure, that's a fun little little thing for you, Miss Dora. Uh, she doesn't want to kiss Consort. I guess we can do that right here in the middle of the road. Oh, he wants to kiss her too. Look at that little, little their honeymoon's turning out pretty good. He wants to buy new clothes. He's like, I'm I'm tired of these these stupid these stupid uh tourist clothes. I need to get back to my regular clothes. What are they doing? Oh, they're doing a little back rub moment. Back rub in the middle of the road. All right, guys. Yeah, so I guess we could uh, wander off to another lot. Maybe we could just walk to lot this time. It's gonna screw up our needs, but I think that's okay. Let's have her, let's have them just walk to lot. They'll just head off. We're gonna go to the majestic ruins. We're gonna go for a, a walk, a little hike to the majestic ruins. See if anything's interesting there. Okay, here we are. Is this kind of just the same style of lot? Yeah, it's kind of just the same thing. There's like a little fountain up here. Um, I mean, it's nice, but it's kind of just the same crap as before. This guy about to add soap. Make it angry. Let's see if our game wants to crash again. Oh, good. They have a modern toilet option. That's good. Yeah, oh, that's so funny. Did it again. Now he's now he's giving offering. Is that what pleases it again? Is the, okay, yeah, it looks like the offering makes it happy again and it dissipates. The lava dissipates. That's interesting. Well, that's well, that's fun. I don't know. Maybe we'll uh, not Dora swooning over some other old man. Dora, please. Yeah, I think we might walk to another lot. Well, I'm going somewhere else. Where else is we not like what's what else is interesting that we haven't really seen? We went to the boardwalk. There's another beach, but I, I don't really care that much about the beach. Fruitville Village. We haven't gone there. It's like a shopping place. Let's just go see what that's about. Just to say we went there. 
But I think we're going to be wrapping up pretty soon. I think these guys are going to be done with their little vacation, and then I'll be done, be done playing them for this round. I really enjoyed their little vacation adventure. That 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 local is very into Dora. All right. Oh well, yeah, it looks like kind of a weird little open market. This is quite the. I guess they didn't have like a like a cute little fruit stand in the in the budget for the new items to make. So they, they just used all the base game grocery store items, which is kind of a choice. They got little they got little huts over all of them, but uh, <laughs> OK, we got a nice little indoor zone. Not terrible. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen, I guess. This lady's enjoying a cup of water from the public bathroom sink. I don't know that I'd go down that road personally, but you know, get a picture. Can we can we ask this local to take our picture? Oh, take a picture. There we go. I can click. Can we take a picture of this random man. <laughs> Part of our memory. All right, she's gonna take a picture of something. Are we gonna take a picture of the of the. <laughs> Is she taking a picture of this? What are we What are we taking a picture of exactly? I'd like the concept of trying to figure out, like, what is she looking at? That's our picture. There we go. <laughs> she has a want to take a picture. That's why I'm telling her to do this. Yeah, we're, oop. I hit the wrong button. There we go. I guess we're taking a picture <laughs> of the food market. All right. I guess we're going to slow dance in this random building. It's all right. <laughs> look at this romance. Look at, the, look at these romantic little old folks enjoying their vacation they've had a very nice vacation so far i mean they've done a lot of things oh okay well <laughs> that, that was that well that that was short-lived all right i think maybe it's time to uh walk on back to our to our hotel okay i don't know what time technically the vacation ends i'm guessing maybe like a few hours or is it going to be like tomorrow morning i don't quite remember I'm just gonna let them do their thing. They're just gonna hang out and enjoy themselves for the rest of their vacation. I don't know that we have anything particular to, to do. They kind of want to go on another tour. Maybe they could just to pass some time go on one more tour. Oh, they're started to dance together. He wants, they, bo they both want to go on a tour. Maybe they'll go on one more. All right, we're gonna head off. We're gonna zoom forward while they're off doing some fun things. Okay. So as soon as the boat picks up full speed, the rope that connects the boat and the parachute starts tearing. And a few seconds later, the parachute is sailing freely. Should the group try to steer the chute or let the wind determine the destination? That sounds like a bad idea. Let's just steer it. I feel like consort would steer it. The parachute isn't meant to be steered. Uh oh, and it's pretty much uncontrollable. The group ends up crashing into a storefront, taking out the window and destroying the entire layout in the process. The repairs cost 500 simoleons, and that brings down the mood for the whole group. <laughs> oh, oh, it just brings down the mood. Are we sure there wasn't any injuries or? OK, so they caught they cost an extra 500 bucks and their their friggin needs are tanked. OK, that was a good little adventure, I guess. All right, we are we are rising at 7 a.m. Or at least consort is here. Uh, I assume they're very close to. Oh, it says time to go home. Do I? Can I just check out whenever? Check out. We got a three thousand dollar bill. I'm gonna let consort get up and feed himself here. Uh, I think I'll wake Dora up and have her. She's actually not too bad. She's not that hungry. Just have them get their needs sorted for the trip home. <laughs> Okie dokie. She has finished her thing. I'm going to have them. It's a rainy day. Good day to leave. We're not going to gossip. We're just going to go ahead and leave our wonderful beach paradise. This was quite a nice little adventure for these guys, I think. And there we are. Three grand pourer. <laughs> Headed on home. Is it? Is it? Are we just? How do we go home? Aha, uh -huh. end vacation. There we go. Consort, is this your bag that you left on the ground? Is that what you're going to pick up? Okay, thank you for picking up your trash. We hope your vacation was everything you expected it to be. The airport shuttle should be arriving as soon as possible to take you back. Very nice. Oh, oh no. She's in the floor. There we go. Here's our, our shuttle. Riding us home on this rainy day on our last day at Tweaky Island, headed back to Veroniville. Oh my gosh. 
Home, sweet home. It feels like we haven't been here in ages. We loading back in here. Looks like the, uh... Yeah, looks like the uh, nanny over here is cleaning our cat litter box. So I guess that's what she was here for, is the cat. <laughs> okay, so we do have uh, vacation benefits now to choose. There's six here to choose from. Uh, carefree, refreshed, productive, forgiving, industrious, right? Yeah, and je ne sais quoi. Um, okay, so this one helps their comfort, social, and fun. Let's give consort that one. Oh, we get an additional want slot. Wait, we need to definitely do that. That's pretty cool. Um, skill building. Oh, we, this this one helps make skill building faster. I'm going to do that for consort. And then for Dora, I'm going to do the same. We're going to get an extra um, slot, want slot. We're going to get refreshed. And then I'm going to, for her, I'm going to do industrious for her job because she still works at the school. She's a teacher or something. I forget now. <laughs> I think she's a substitute teacher. Oh, so they've both got an extra want slot now. That's pretty fun. Oh my gosh, they're home sweet home. Um, yeah, our so I noticed our season is goofy. See, it did not it did not properly, you know, uh, what do I want to say? Sync up the season. So I am going to go ahead and manually do that. I have a mod that allows me to do that. I'm going to use the season and weather controller. Oh no, <laughs> there's a lag in our bills. We were on vacation, please. Have mercy. I'm going to actually have him come back down here, all the way down the the driveway and get the mail and pay the bills. Uh, but yeah, we're going to set season to season two. So it is now we, we, we've played long enough, including the vacation, to be able to go ahead and just push our, our season forward for the round to make sense. I'm just going to have make sure consort pays the bills here before we go so we don't end up with a repo man next time we try to play. But yeah, so this was a fun little adventure. I really liked getting to go on a special little honeymoon with Dora and Consort and get to just kind of see the sights of Tweaky Island. Uh, these guys have, have learned lots of things and had lots of adventures. Um, I'm going to have you stop doing that and just immediately pay all bills there, buddy. Okay. But yeah, that's it for now. Um, I hope you enjoyed our little adventures, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.